as you can see, me and Roxana here are at the <laughs> Rampart Rage Recreational Park. Welcome, and you're watching Rocky Mountain Moto Adventures. Rampart Road, here we come. Hopefully it's not too wet. We are supposed to get some showers today, which is the reason why we came out here uh, at this time. So, that way we wouldn't have, oh, they got the road open. Welcome to your forest, keep it clean. So, we got 60 some odd miles of this to go all the way down to Colorado Springs from Sedilla here, if that's how you pronounce it. And uh, we just wanted to get out and have a little bit of fun and see what we can find. You know, we've never been out here before, hear like good things. Somebody's camping. All right. But there's also, uh, there are a lot of trails out here too. So that's the other great thing about this place. Uh, you can come out here with your quads, side by sides, dirt bikes, off road vehicles, and just have a great time. So, we're just at the start of this. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. Alright, let's put your jacket on. We're going to go up here, get Roxanne's jacket put on because it's a little cold, and uh, get back out there. Yep. Yeah, it's very nice. You ready? All right. Here we go. Had a little pit stop. And here we go. What I also wanted to show primarily with this is that you can come out here two up and feel confident that you'll have a good time and not overdo your skill level. Now again, there will be some slippery moments, obviously, when um, the, you know the terrain here gets uh, a little wet and slippery, but for the most part, you can do this with two people. It's a nice way to go out and enjoy yourself for the afternoon and have fun. So what we're going to do is so we're going to run ahead this about 10 miles, take a stop, have a lunch because we are getting a little bit hungry. It is a bit cold up here, uh, but for the most part, it's I mean it is beautiful. So let's uh, let's enjoy, see what we got. So 8,000 feet up. It's a little nippy. Quite a few people out camping, unbelievable. What is that? Look at the view. Look at that, baby. That's pretty, huh? Nice little stop we had there. Uh, big advantage point over uh, the valley there. It was unbelievable. Uh, so, yeah. Ah, uh, like it, like it, like it, like it, like it, like it, like it a lot. Gotta love these trails. This is absolutely really nice. I mean, I would recommend anybody who wants to come out, get a little off-road on, sightseeing, camping, whatever, to come out here and visit the, uh, uh, you know, the Rampart National Forest. It's uh, absolutely a great place to come, bring the kids, bring the family, whatever, cook out, ride your bikes, have fun, and uh, just make a great day or weekend or a week out of it. I mean, it's just really cool. This is what I've been dying for. This is a good reason why we moved up here, right here. 
is to come out and have a little fun when you're not working, blow off some steam, and uh, just enjoy the outdoors. Whew, it's that nippy. Well, 18 miles into it now. We're at uh, 8,500 feet above sea level. And still some of the best uh, views out there. This is just fantastic. Nice little ride. Right now, I'm going to start looking for a place to... Uh, Actually, no, I'm sorry, we'll take that back. We're eight miles into it. <laughs> the other 10 miles was from uh, the town where I gassed up. So, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be looking for a place now to have a, get a little uh, our lunch on and uh, hit the road again. So we just stopped for a bit of lunch and we're on the side of some boulders right now, overlooking this beautiful view of the mountain and the valley and stuff. And, Roxana's down there getting a little bit of lunch on. See? <laughs> She's a bit cold. But uh, let me show you what it looks like over there. So behind me, you got this little peak up here, which is really nice. But uh, look at this. Let me just flip this around if it lets me. There you go. Look at that. That is just unbelievable. Beautiful mountain. It may rain later on. Hopefully we're going to beat that. Might catch some of that rain going back to the house. So, but for the most part, we're going to finish our lunch. Roxanne's going to eat hers. She's freezing down there, and uh, we'll get back on the bike and get going. I have. To... <laughs> so, what have you? What you're witnessing here is my wife is stuck on the edge of this little rock. Yet it's only a foot and a half, two yeah, feet. Yeah, make fun of me. Yeah, <laughs> I had to walk around on the edge there. <laughs> there you go. So, this is Roxana. She looks like a state puff marshmallow man with safety reflectors on her. You can see she got a little cold at 9,000 feet. She's upset. She had lunch. You stressed. She's stressed. So we don't have any proper riding boots for her yet, but we were working on that. So she's got a pair of riding pants on, a riding jacket on, and that's just still too cold. So we put the jacket on her and then now she's like, it doesn't look pretty. <laughs> you like my she probably won't feed me for a week. Alright, so let's go. Here. Oh god. You ready, baby? I don't think you have a choice. <laughs> All right, here we go. My balls are. St st uh. <sighs> Beautiful mountain area. Got some rocks kind of falling. But one thing I will have to say is that with two people on the back of the bike, two people on the bike, more or less, um, it does distribute the weight a bit differently and the front wheel gets a little bit lighter off the ground or well, a little bit lighter to its touch than normal so you do have to be careful when on this soft soft loose stuff look at this this is fantastic nice open stretch beautiful views whoa did you see that what a beautiful view. Yeah. Wow, this is beautiful. What a great place. Baby, what a great place to come out and have a big campfire and park, camp out over here. Stopped off over in this little area here and uh, just caught something that looks amazing over here. So, she is it, trying to find her way. Look at this. What do you want? That's to what I want. Look at this. Me and my baby girl out here having a little adventure, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you like it? My wife, she's just having a little cow. All right. So. We're getting back at it again. Get the gloves back on and get going. Little bits of snow here. Guess the sun didn't really hit this very hard. So the, the 
the trail has changed a little bit. I'm about 9,000 feet. Yeah, 9,001 feet up. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit more graded, I hear. Uh, trees have changed a little bit. A little bit more foresty like. It says I have 36 miles to go. Now we've been on this for a short time. So it's not too bad. We're just cruising along. Hopefully the weather stays like this. Wife is getting a bit cold. Uh, so that's always a problem. But uh, we're going to keep pushing on. We'll end up in Colorado Springs and then take the, uh, take the highway back to the house. Alright, so a little update. Uh, it's now 2.11 in the afternoon. It has started to snow a little bit. A little bit of snowflakes and kind of got me wondering, oh God, what are we going to do? So we got another 25 miles to go and that's just the Colorado Springs. If we turn around, we're going to have roughly about 30 miles to go. Problem with that is if the roads get bad, the dirt, this, this rampart road is going to be the best option to get back home on. I don't want to get on the highway. Ugh, fuck me. I don't want to get on the highway and go all the way back to Denver from Colorado Springs if it's snowing because obviously roads freeze and uh, it just makes it for an unsafe driving condition. So here we go. Thank God for the GPS. Ugh. Okay, as you see here, we're, we are leaving Ramp, Rampart Road. And continuing on to the next town up here by asphalt. Uh, reason for that is simply because we had another 20 miles to go left to Colorado Springs on, the, on dirt, and that was going to take us another hour and a half, two hours. And to be honest with you, it's getting cold, my wife's freezing, and it's starting to snow. And my biggest problem I have right now, the fear of it starting to snow, and I get stuck in it. And that's what I don't want, is to be out here stuck in snow. So if I went the other way, not a problem, but I got another two hours back. And then from that town, the beginning part of the stretch, back to uh, where I live, would be another, another 35 minutes drive. So 35, 40 minute drive. So. Uh, it'd take us into late in the afternoon. The funny thing is, on the GPS, what it said earlier was uh, arrival time to the end of the tra uh, Rampart Road was going to take me about the 6.15, 6.20 this afternoon. Right now, the way it's set up now, taking the road back all the way back to my house, uh, we're looking at 3.50, 4 o'clock time I get home. So a lot better shaved off a couple hours and i think it's going to be well worth it so again thanks guys i appreciate you guys watching uh again always remember to check out rocky mountain moto adventures on our youtube channel and our facebook channel please subscribe we are looking at collecting up to a hundred our first hundred uh subscribers and once we do we're thinking about currently at the moment what kind of giveaway we're going to give uh for the for the drawing for you know saying thanks to you guys for uh, subscribing to the channel so other than that i wish all the best and keep the rubber side down